TIFU by accidentally getting a tattoo that was dedicated to sexual raceplay stuff. So, in a wild turn of events, the most recent tattoo that I got turns out to have a separate meaning than the one I intended. Completely. And totally. Different. The tattoo is a little heart with a Q above it. It is supposed to stand for Queen of Hearts. I got it because I met my boyfriend at a casino. I know. I know. And I am supposed to be the queen of his heart and because we both love playing card games. He is supposed to be getting a King of Hearts tattoo soon. Here it is a little bit after I first got it. HTTPS i.imager.com slash saio8k.jpg Unfortunately, the other day I was talking with one of my friends who happens to be of the gay male and Asian persuasion, while I am a straight Asian girl. I happily showed him my new tattoo and he immediately remarked on it. Wow. I didn't know you were into that stuff girl. Quote. Confused. Obviously. I asked him what in the hell he was talking about. And it turns out my tattoo was related to apparently pretty popular race play involving white men. Dominating non-white women or men. Apparently it is pretty popular among gay Asian men and Asian swinger couples to show their love. For hung white dudes. As he showed me on some of the urban dictionary definitions and pulled up pictures of other Asian or ethnic girls with the tattoo. He even showed me the raceplay subreddit which was, well, crazy. Go at your own risk. Sue now as an Asian girl, who happens to also have a white boyfriend who also didn't know anything about any of this as the tattoo was my idea completely. I am super embarrassed by it whenever I go out in public. Luckily it's in a place that's kind of easy to hide. But still. Wow. Wow. I'm beyond worried that others may think I'm some kind of deviant. Not to judge or anything like that but. Why a a a a t l Doctor. Got a tattoo. Turned out to symbolize love for extra large vanilla snow cones. Didn't know about it. Am now super embarrassed d. Nah don't worry. More people have associations with the Queen of Hearts from playing cards than anything else. It's a funny coincidence. But don't sweat it and enjoy your tattoo. I feel like 99% of people would have no clue the hidden meaning. Like the other people replying have said. Don't let it get to you. Even your Urban Dictionary link had multiple definitions for it. And most people don't go around looking up everything they see on Urban Dictionary. Alice in Wonderland popularized the Queen of Hearts. Poker has a connection as well and you told us what it meant to you and your boyfriend. You can't let Urban Dictionary steal what that meant from you hun. Wear it proud and if anyone mentions it like your other friend did ask them WTF they are talking about and act shocked when they say what they think it means and let them know you think they are sick for even knowing that. Read about the same mistake being made before on here. Honestly I don't think anyone knows what it is. Except for those that are into that niche. Just cover it up with a tattoo that says I less than 3 BWC. So everyone can know of your love for beauty without cruelty. Oh please. No one is gonna think that's what it means. You can't make a queen of hearts tattoo into anything that it's not already. That tattoo is a classic. There is no way you could know that. Maybe you could try adding a card-like border and a crown in top to disguise it. Your friend is just particularly into that stuff. I had no idea, and most other people won't either. Completely ridiculous. Your average person isn't going to think of any of that shit when they see that. They'll think the queen of hearts. That's it. This happened to me. 
About 10 years ago I got a simple spade tattoo to cover up a smaller one. A couple years later someone told me about Queen of Spades. Mine doesn't have a Q, but I definitely get comments. I never heard this. The Urban Dictionary is not really something most people refer when looking up stuff. I have a similar tattoo. Not even into dudes. Person shrugging wouldn't worry about it too much. I'm a gay Asian male and I've never heard of this. To be fair I don't get out much though tears of joy. Weird kinky subcultures don't get to just take popular iconography like a playing card symbol all for their own. It means whatever you want it to mean. What's the name of that subreddit? Just asking for a friend. I promise. There is no fuck up here at all. You got a normal tattoo and an extremely tiny part of humanity has a different meaning for them that isnt relevant i'm a pervert and i've never heard of this i think you're pretty safe for now culture does change pretty quickly though i'm into some far more deviant stuff and i had zero idea about that guarantee 99.9% .9 of people won't think of it that way this is still not as bad as white people getting Asian words tattooed on them. Thinking it means, peace and love, when it actually means, egg drop soup, or something silly like that. The Queen of Hearts is a well-known reference and any weird kink associated with it definitely came later. I've never heard of that meaning for it. You should be fine unless you go to a kink convention lol. I bet your boyfriend I strutting around now that you were advertising his snow cone size. Trust me. Only the gays will know tongue out. Or people that are into that stuff and then your boyfriend will get all. The attention lol. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our playlists full of similar content. Epic Aircast is like doom scrolling for your ears. Please like, share, and subscribe.